okay, so it's the last wee bit of this demonstration. I just want to make it look a bit nicer, all right? It's not going to win any awards, this page, for how it looks, but I'm going to make it look a wee bit better than it does. So, I'm going to go back into my uh, db.php. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to kind of go against the usual. I'm going to put the style sheet in here just now, okay, just for ease. So, I'm just going to, underneath the title, say style type equals text slash CSS. Okay, a couple of blank lines. So, um, let me think. I'm going to make a wee uh, div class, right? Because class is going to come on one time in a page. So, I'm just going to say dot my form. And I'll say width 50%. Um, margin. Remember what this line does again? Zero. Auto. What does that do again? Show you it last year. Margin zero auto, it gives it sticks it in the middle of the page. Alright. Um, border. I'll go three pixels, solid, and I'll go put in a colour FFC19. Okay, and I'll just put some padding on it, padding 10 pixels. Okay. For the body itself, I'll not do much to it, I'll just say body, background, dash colour, and I'll go for a 1485cc, again I'm just reading these off a cooler a list of hex codes for colours, okay. Let's save that. And then I quickly refresh it. Okay. That's not alright. That's fine. Now, I've called that my form. I'm just going to change it to my. Change it to my row, okay? Is that alright? Change it to my row. It's, it's not technically the form, I'll actually look at that. Now, I've made this wee class here. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that in my output from the, the database. Okay. And again, I'll, if you've missed a wee bit, I'll come back and let you see it. But I'm just going to go down here. And on my output, I'm just going to say echo div class equals oh sorry right i'm going to combine quotes i've got to use a single quote and it will be my row so i need to use single quotes in here because i'm in amongst double quotes does that make sense because if i put a double quote there it will end that which i don't want then just at the bottom i'm going to say echo and div okay I'll just tab them in so what this is doing now is every time it finds a record in the table it's creating a class and then putting the information in finishing the class it'll create a new one alright so let's go back up and look Not quite what, let's see why. Call it my row, class equals my row. Shouldn't be any dot when I'm naming it. It should be a dot when I'm naming it, not when I'm calling it. See, told you I was rusty. So you're here. 
Control K. Let's go back into that again. Right. So it's not put the border on it. Let's go and see why. Let's not put the bother on it. Let's try it again. There we go. I think the colours are too similar. Right, so they're joined up, so I don't really want that. So I'll go back on here and uh, I'll say a uh, margin dash bottom. Just 10 pixels. And that should space them out of it. Okay, Mars and Dash bottom, 10 pixels. And there we go, looking at those wee boxes now. Alright. What I could do with the row is I could say background dash colour. And again, I'll just choose from what I've got here. And I'll make it FFC, FFFC19. And put my hashtag there. And there you go. Sorry. Sorry. Look at what I Look at what awards. I can go and uh, change this form as well if I wanted to. And just before we stop for break. So, forum. Uh, I'll go in here and say forum, and again I'll go with 50% margin, zero auto, that green colour, I'll make it a dark red, B two one two one two. Okay, I'll try that. See what it's looking like. If it's saying you have to keep on refreshing, but there you go. Here's a form there. Still looks a wee bit rubbish. So I'm going to put a border on that. Just going to nick the same border off of that. I'm going to put some padding in it as well. Again, that should tidy it up a wee bit for me. There we go. And if you want, just throw one a wee trick at the end. You can go into Google Fonts. We've used Google Fonts before, yeah? So I'll go to Google Fonts. I'll not a... Uh, Worry too much about it. Um, let's see. I'll go for Roboto. All right. Click my plus. You'll see it says Family Selected. Click on that, and it gives you the code that you need to use. So I can put that in the head of my document. This link href. That has to go in the head. And then all I need to do is. Use the font file link and I'll stick that in the body. Yeah, tag. In there. Paste that in and hopefully now it looks like it looks alright. Yeah, nothing brilliant. But that's how you can influence the style of it. Now, I'm only showing you guys that so you can see CSS, PHP, and HTML all working away together. Alright. Right, so we'll stop the demo there and we'll give our wee exercise after the break.